I challenge ChatGBT with three different embedded software tasks. Can he master it? Nice! That works even better than in my version. Or is using it just a waste of time? It's enough for me. Task number one is what we all know from modern embedded boards. Connect it to Wi-Fi, turn on an LED and read out its state over a web interface. So we do it step by step. First create a software to connect to a Wi-Fi. Now I want to import my SSID and my password from an external file and then copy it to Tony and run it. The reason why it's not working is the mismatch between the file name and the input command. Let's inform JetGBT about his mistake. And again it does the same but with a different file name. So let's give it again the file name and inform him again about that it's already existing. This time I think he got it, let's try it in Tony. And it works, perfect, here's the IP. Let's start with a real challenge uh, LED connected on pin 2. So let's turn it on over web interface. What's happening now is really confusing to me. He's giving me a new library to import, but it's his challenge, not mine, so I try my best to bring it to work. I will try to give him the failure code to guide me through this, but when I'm doing this, it's crashing! Okay, now I try to use a failure code in the Tony. At least I could update the pip interface. And again, I'm failing to install the library. Okay, let's ask him for another solution. <sighs> again, it's crashing. Okay, I will not proceed like this. I will inform him that it's not working for me with the library. So let's give him the information. And yeah, now he's giving me a millions of files. This is not wrong, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's unpractical for the video. So I will ask him to bring them together in one file and give it to Tony. And this time, cool, it works, perfect. But what's this? When I turn it on, it's just flashing. Uh, Hey GPT, the LED is only flashing. Now he throws a new code where he adapted the if state in the request. I have no idea why this should improve the code, but let's try it. Okay, interesting, it works. I, I, I don't understand why, because when it's a request, it should work in any way, but... Let's get to the final of challenge one and ask ChatGBT to write an indicator for the web interface. Take that code, throw it into Tony and then press the button and we see a different state. Whoa, cool! That's even working better than the version I have in my code. Really nice. So if you want to have the code I get out from ChatGBT, I have it inside of my GitHub repository in the video description. After some corrections, challenge number one is passed. Challenge number two will be the use of a slider to adapt the brightness of the LED. And we will see where I switched off my laptop and leave the room for a day. It's enough for me. Okay, challenge number two. Let's start with a simple sense to explain to HGBD what I'm expecting him to do. And again, I have to wait for the web interface. As long as I'm waiting, I just draw a nice picture for you. If you have an idea what it is, write it down in the comments. During the time I was painting these beautiful pictures, JetGBD crashes. And I retried, but it crashed again. So for today, it's enough for me. Okay, getting back to the challenge and see if ChatGBD is working today or if he still has no interest to make my challenge. And yes, it seems like today it's working. So it's giving me one attempt, second attempt, third attempt. But finally, I get a connection. And it crashes. The simple reason is ChatGBT uses the wrong attributes to address the pins. And now he's starting guessing around. The next idea is time from 10 sans loss. He wants me to switch the output pins. This is completely senseless, but we will do it and we will see. Hey, it doesn't have any impact. The message is the same. Dropping the error message to him. And now, surprise, it works. He got it. 
For the final challenge, ChatGBT has to use a button and has to work with the limitation of an embedded controller. I want him to increase the brightness of the LED by the switching of the button and make it accessible over the web interface and indicates the state. And we will see where I switched off the laptop. It's done for me. At the end and break everything up. In his first try, he gives me a code where he was trying to read out the buttons inside of a blocking code. So this will not work, but we tried and surprise, it has no function. So I give him the hint what to do now because I don't want him to get around anymore. But again, he made a mistake by addressing the variables. Okay, with this some parts of the codes are working, but he ignored that he's using a button and the button is bouncing. So, I don't want to guess around, just give him the information that he should debounce the software. Two more attempts, you get some software that is working. But that's not what I want. I want also to be able to change the value inside of the web interface. But for the challenge, I have seen what I need. It's done for me. ChatGPT can help you in the beginning of your project. But it has no system understanding. And even worse, it's extremely confident even when he's completely wrong. By the way, if you don't want to make mistakes, here's why this tool can kill your project and your complete project timing and most of the makers does these mistakes. So see you here.